ਪੀਲ ਖੇਤਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਸ਼ੇ ਦੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਖੇਪ ਬਰਾਮਦ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ 383 ਕਿਲੋ ਕੋਕੇਨ ਮੈਥਮਫੈਟਾਮਾਈਨ ਕੈਟਾਮਾਈਨ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਨਸ਼ਾ ਬਰਾਮਦ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਦੀ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀਮਤ ਕਰੀਬ 25.25 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਤੱਕ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਕਈ ਜਣਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਮਾਮਲੇ ਵੀ ਦਰਜ ਕੀਤੇ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਕੈਲਡਨ ਦੇ ਰਹਿਣ ਵਾਲੇ 46 ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਖਲੀਲਾ ਅਮੀਨ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਰਹਿਣ ਵਾਲੇ 28 ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਜਸਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਰਿਚਮੰਡ ਦੇ ਰਹਿਣ ਵਾਲੇ 27 ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਰੇ ਇਪ ਮਿਸੀ ਸਾਗਾ ਦੇ ਰਹਿਣ ਵਾਲੇ 27 ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਰਵਿੰਦਰ ਬੋਪਾਰਾਏ ਕੈਲਡਨ ਦੇ ਰਹਿਣ ਵਾਲੇ 38 ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਗੁਰਦੀਪ ਗੱਖਲ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਮਾਮਲੇ ਦਰਜ ਕੀਤੇ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਨਸ਼ਾ ਤਸਕਰੀ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਗਿਰੋਹ ਦਾ ਜੋ ਪਰਦਾ ਫਾਸ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਇੰਨੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਨਸ਼ੇ ਦੀ ਖੇਪ ਬਰਾਮਦ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਪੀਲ ਖੇਤਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੁਣ ਤੱਕ ਦੇ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ 'ਚ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡੀ ਖੇਪ ਮੰਨੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਦੀ ਬਰਾਮਦਗੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਇਹ ਨਸ਼ਾ ਬਰਾਮਦ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਦਰਅਸਲ ਟਰੱਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਇਸ ਨਸ਼ੇ ਦੀ ਤਸਕਰੀ ਬਾਰਡਰ ਪਾਰ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਸੀ ਇਸ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਜੋ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਮਾਮਲੇ ਵੀ ਦਰਜ ਕੀਤੇ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਵੀ ਹੋਰ ਇਸ ਮਾਮਲੇ ਦੀ ਜਾਂਚ ਚੱਲੇਗੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਲੰਮੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਤੋਂ ਇਸ ਮਾਮਲੇ ਦੀ ਜਾਂਚ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਨਵੰਬਰ 2021 ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂਚ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਜਿਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਅੱਗੇ ਤੋਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਹੋਰ ਅਧਿਕਾਰੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਜਾਂਚ ਟੀਮ ਨੂੰ ਵੱਡਾ ਵੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਜਾਂਚ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜੇ ਹੋਰ ਖੁਲਾਸੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਗਏ ਜਿਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਨਤੀਜਾ ਇਹ ਨਿਕਲਿਆ ਕਿ ਇੰਨੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਮਾਤਰਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਸ਼ਾ ਬਰਾਮਦ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਓਵਰ ਦਾ ਲਾਸਟ 11 ਮੰਥਸ ਆਰ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲਾਈਜ਼ਡ ਇਨਫੋਰਸਮੈਂਟ ਬਿਊਰੋ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਟਿੰਗ ਅ ਲਾਰਜ ਸਕੇਲ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਡਰਗ ਟ੍ਰੈਫਿਕਿੰਗ ਰਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਸ ਡਬਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਜ਼ੂਕਰਾਈਟਸ our service led this project with support from the united states homeland security investigations in detroit and chicago along with the border enforcement security task force in buffalo as a result of those efforts i am very pleased to announce that our service has executed the single largest seizure in our services history to date a total of 300 and 83 kilograms of cocaine, methamphetamine and ketamine has been seized. Investigators have charged and taken into custody numerous people responsible for this investigation. Detective Sergeant Earl Scott will elaborate on those charges and the people that have been charged when he's invited to the podium. We are extremely proud of this work and our team's efforts towards addressing this type of criminal activity. This seizure now brings the total value of drugs seized by the Peel Regional Police to over 40 million dollars in the year 2022. What you see here before you serves as more evidence of our collective commitment towards erasing organized crime and the type of organized crime which targets our communities it is a priority for our service our community and we will not tolerate criminals who profit by preying on people in our community and using those profits to finance other criminal activities and i would like to take this opportunity to share two messages the first is for people who are struggling with addictions who are directly or indirectly affected by addiction. We encourage you to look for help. And as a service, we will do everything we can to help you find that help. For the people who use those vulnerabilities and target our vulnerable in our community, we will continue with the type of enforcement efforts which have resulted in this seizure today in order to crack down on organized crime and hold those responsible accountable for their activities. In addition, I would like to thank the Ontario government for the funding provided through the Criminal Intelligence Service of Ontario. I would also really like to congratulate the women and men of our Specialized Enforcement Bureau whose commitment and work towards improving our community safety have resulted in the seizure that you see here before you today. At this point, I would like to invite Detective Sergeant Earl Scott to the podium where he will take you through the details of the investigation and any specifics related to that investigation. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy. Good morning. I'm Detective Sergeant Earl Scott with the Peel Regional Police Specialized Enforcement Bureau. 
and the investigator in charge of the Project Zuccaritis team. In November 2021, we commenced an 11 month long investigation into a trafficking ring that extended across the greater Toronto area and into the United States. Through our investigation, our officers arrested and charged several members of a large drug trafficking ring. This group was known to be operating commercial businesses to transport illegal drugs into the GTA. Peel Regional Police have seized 383 kilograms of drugs with an estimated street value of $25.25 million. 182 kilograms of methamphetamine have been seized. 186 kilograms of cocaine have been seized and 38 kilograms of ketamine have been seized. A business identified as North King Logistics, located at 50 Steeles Avenue in Milton, has been identified as a commercial trucking business used to transport and distribute the illegal drugs. A second business, Friends Furniture, located at 2835 Argentia Road in Mississauga, has also been identified as a transfer hub through the investigation. This investigation has led to the arrests and charges on the following individuals. Kalula Amin, a 46-year-old from Caledon, has been charged with two counts of possession, excuse me, of trafficking in a controlled substance. Jaspreet Singh, a 28-year-old from Brampton has been charged with one count of trafficking and one count of possession of property obtained by crime. Ray Ip, a 27-year-old man from Richmond Hill, has been charged with four counts of possession for the purpose of trafficking. Ravinder Bopare, a 27-year-old man from Mississauga, has been charged with one count of trafficking and one count of possession of property obtained by crime. Last party, Gurdeep Gakal, a 38-year-old from Caledon, has been charged with one count of trafficking in a controlled substance. This accused is currently in custody in the U.S. on a warrant issued by the Northern District of Illinois for violations of the U.S. drug conspiracy laws. I'd like to thank my colleagues in the Specialized Enforcement Bureau for their incredible investigative work and their tireless efforts, without which this wouldn't have been possible. And I'd also like to thank the assistance uh, provided by our U.S. law enforcement partners.